Hey fam, Jay Riddle here with an Atlanta United Transfer Daily update. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution's Doug Robertson, as well as numerous other sources, Justin Miram from Columbus Crew is on his way to Atlanta United. The left winger with the Columbus Crew, who originally went to Orlando, struggled there. You may remember him sticking his fingers in his ears when he scored a goal before he was sent back to Columbus. Uh, said he was struggling there, didn't get a lot of love from the fans, was having difficulty. Said even that some fans wished death upon him. Uh, yeah, not great. So he went to Orlando for a little over a million in allocation money, went back to Columbus for about $750,000 in allocation money. Columbus crew uh, forcing Orlando to take the hit there. And when he went back to Columbus, it looked like initially he was starting to get into the groove of things, but ultimately he only had one assist. Um, that's actually the same as he had in Orlando, but uh, two goals less than what he had in Orlando when he was there. And then this season, Columbus Crew has been struggling and has been showing in Justin Miram's form as well. He's been starting in fits uh, off and on, 30 minutes here and there, and then uh, coming off the bench the last couple of games, only about 70, 75 minutes before being taken off. Not sure if that's due to fitness or, or performance issues, but it may be an indication of why Columbus is trying to offload him on Atlanta United. Now, he has had no goals, no assists this season. He has only .3 key passes. That is a concern, but we know that Justin Miram has a lot of upside as well. We know that he's a left winger. He can play 1v1. He can cut inside uh, to the right as well. It fits that possession style of game that Frank DeBoer said in an interview earlier today uh, or last, yesterday is really something that he is looking for in a player. Can they play in a possession-based system? We know Justin Miram can. He plays in Columbus, which is a possession-based uh, system as well. Although he hasn't been performing to expectations, is this something that we may see him do better in Atlanta United? That's the real question, right? We know he has the upside and the potential, but will he come through? He's also, you know, being brought in as a depth piece, probably for some value, right? Uh, we're not probably probably not paying a lot of money for him. Bringing him on to serve as backup as Frank DeBoer said, to Barco while he's out, as well as our other uh, key players, Tito Vijalba, who goes to Paraguay on international duty this season, as well as PT, who will go to Argentina on international duty, and Joseph uh, for Venezuela. So when those guys are out, we need some depth, and Andrew Carlton just hasn't been performing as well as people would have liked. There's even question marks on whether he'll get into the U-20 World Cup squad, and that initial person who's, you know, looked at as depth last season may not be someone that Frank DeBoer is looking to right now we need additional pieces in addition to Pereira or an Asedu etc somebody who's more proven in MLS so that's the story guys he's on his way uh, whether you think that's a positive thing or a negative thing let us know in the comments like subscribe share we look forward to hearing your thoughts and uh, yeah I mean also the big question is uh, can he play left back kidding guys leave us some comments below we'll look forward to seeing those peace